Uh, hello and welcome back to Serious About Salvage and another video on the channel. So today's video is going to be aimed at the Fiesta Age that we picked up. Um, so the main plan is to get this fully stripped, make sure there's no chassis damage, that's the main thing I want to check before I go and spend a lot of money on it. Make sure there's no chassis leg damage, if there is, see how bad it is, if we can fix it. You know the story. Um, but yeah, nice little car, should be quite an easy fix really, there's not that much damage. I think it looks a little bit worse than it actually is. Um, and then obviously with the airbag damage and stuff, it means we're going to have to put a dash in it. So I'll have a quick look around it, remind you exactly what's going on, and then we're going to dive in and pull this thing apart. Before we do start though, don't forget, press that subscribe button, thumbs up for the video, enjoy. So here we go, so what I want to do is get the bonnet off, headlight out, bumper skin off, have a proper look at what's going on behind here. I think it's going to need a rad carrier, this panel for definite. It looks like it's a bit broke down there. But the rad's still got water in. There's no damage in the centre, so there's going to be no radiator damage, no aircon damage, rad damage. We might have a bent crash bar, because it's bent down there, I think. Other than that, I don't think there's going to be much else going on here. We have got a broken tab on this headlight. But you know, I've got that um, hot stapler, haven't I? So we can fix that. So we're just going to have to get the one headlight. We've got damaged wing, but surprisingly, no damage to the windscreen. Generally, the airbags pop these windscreens like I thought it was 100% of the time. But we've got no damage. That's just, you know, dust from, from the uh, py pyro system in the airbags. Um, that, like you see, I can wipe, I've wiped it off with my finger. Just wipes off the inside. So no issues, don't need a windscreen. That'll save us a bit, a bit of money. So yes, let's just get ourselves on to a bit of time lapse and um, pull this apart. The other thing I wanna do as well today is find the color of this dash. These Fiestas quite often have a different color. Do you know, some of them are different colors to others. Um, so, the light's been on. Oh, I don't know. I've had the door open, haven't I? So I need to take off this top central cover. There's a sticker under there. Hopefully it says the colour. Uh, so we can go and find ourselves a airbag kit. But first of all, like so let's get the front off. Make sure we're not trying to fix something that is a bit bent, shall we say. Um, and we'll go from there. Okay, front end stripped. So I separated the radiator and the aircon rad from the uh, front panel because, like I said, there's no leaks, there's no damage to them. So I'm not pulling them off and losing all the coolant, making a mess on the floor. There's no point. That can just slide straight back into the new front panel that we put on. Um, do we need a new, well, yeah, I suppose. A tiny bit of damage there to it. 
Other than that, I can't really see anything wrong with it in all fairness. Hmm. It looks like the majority of the impact has been taken up by the crash bar. Um, which obviously you can see there. Now in terms of the chassis legs, I don't think there's anything wrong with this one. But I think that one has just the last, the last like two or three inches have just been kinked a bit to the left. As you can see there, there's a bit of a, you know what I mean? I think that just needs to be tweaked back over there a little bit. Possibly. Mm. I think the best thing to do is going to be get a crash bar and we'll put it in, we'll hold it in place and see just how far out they are up and down wise I don't think they've moved at all I think it's just been tweaked that little bit over this one um, hmm okay so this wing's fine brackets are all fine this wing's knackered, inner wing's fine. We can put a bigger washer on that to hold that back in place, there's no point changing that. You know, in a in a splash guards are fine, both sides. So what we want, we want a bonnet, a bumper, one headlight, crash bar. Um, all the ductings, all the plastic trims are all fine. So, and, a, and an air bucket, air bucket, and we need to do a bit of work with this chassis leg, don't we? Uh, all right, so I'm going to whip off this trim inside here and just get the name of the colour, and then I'm going to shoot off and go and check a local um, fall breakers and see what they've got. See if we can get anything. I've got the paint cord, but I think there's only one white, uh, frozen white, so should be a pretty standard uh, colour. Uh, hopefully, um, plenty of stock. So I'll come back to you shortly. Well, like I said, I'll run over to the to the um, breakers, and I'll come back to you shortly and see what we have got. Right, I'm back. It was kind of a successful visit to the scrapyard and kind of not, unfortunately. Um, nothing really from the front end that they had. They wouldn't sell me a crash bar without the whole rad pack and the front panel. Uh, I'm not going to do that. So I'm, I'll have to order a crash bar off, off eBay. And that's stopping us then really from progressing with this now because I need to sort out these chassis rails first. But what they did have was a passenger wing um, and a complete airbag kit so I've got the knee bag there pair of belts ECU driver's airbag and the dashboard is there I've just given it a wash that's why it's outside that's got passenger airbag in it so that'll be the inside done complete I did manage to get a set of um, bonnet hinges and I've also taken the crash bar off the front panel and looked at this front panel and there is no damage on this front panel at all nothing the only tiny little bit is just in there that little bit there but it ain't replacing the whole front panel just for that that's a headlight tab there's nothing no other damage anywhere at all so that can go back on it's straight as well it's not been twisted nice and straight so that's fine the just a plastic trim for the oh it's still on it plastic trim on the bottom's fine the carol enter top's fine so that's okay um like i said no leaks on the radio no leaks on the aircon so we need a bonnet a bumper a headlight and a crash bar 
is what we need to get. So I'm going to go back to eBay now and try and find the remaining parts for this. Uh, but I think for this video, I'm going to call it a day there. I might as well start off a fresh video um, and do the airbag kit, drill dash, and everything in a separate video. It's not going to, if I put it in now, the video is just going to be too long. So we might as well do that separate. Um, and hopefully, perhaps by then, we might have a few other bits that we can crack on with. And um, yeah, it should progress pretty quick, this build, really. And uh, yeah, should be a cracking little car. Right, that's going to be it for this video. Um, I'm going to crack on and have a tidy up. It's getting a bit of a mess in here. And I might also put that racking up. Because that's going to be very helpful, you know, to put things like the dashboard on. Uh, the front panel, go out the way, off the floor. Even even these bits, you know, I've got this here. Tailgate and the, um, the bumper there. Get them up off the floor and, you know, keep the place tidy. So I'm going to do that now. So as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, big thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, put any comments down you want at the bottom, anything you want to ask, um, I'll do my best to get back to them. And I will see you in the next time. I will see you in the next one. Cheers.